Let's pick this as equation 1, this as equation 2, and this as equation 3. So what we'll do is we will now subtract equation 2 from 1. Okay? So we we'll subtract equation 2 from 1. So this is equation 1. Okay? Meaning we are subtracting 2 from 1. Now, we are going to have it as x plus y is equals to x, y, z. Then we have y plus z is equals to x, y, z. Now, if we subtract, we are going to have this place is going to be x minus y. Then we are going to have plus we have y minus z, of course, is going to be equals to 0. Hence, when we open this bracket, we are going to have x minus y plus y minus z is equals to 0. Now, you can see that y will cancel y. Then, I'm going to have x minus z is equals to 0. Hence, we can conclude uh, if the z can move, okay, to this side of the equation, then we are going to have x is equals to z. So we have it one way. Then let's go back to the second thing that we are going to do. Okay, why not let um subtract equation 3 from 2 so we have equation 2 then minus equation 3 okay we are going to do the same thing so equation 2 is y plus z is equals to x y z then we have z plus x is equals to x y z now remember we are subtracting so these are subtraction sign now this is going to be y minus z then plus z minus x and this is equals to zero now expanding the bracket we have y minus z plus z minus x is equals to zero now, you can see that this z and this will go, that is plus minus, will go. Then I have y minus x is equal to 0. Therefore, we can see that y, y is equal to x. Now, look at the conclusion here and the conclusion here. What can we draw? we can come to a final conclusion that x is equals to y and at the same time is equals to z. Since we have this, we can go to any of the equations, then we make our substitution. Okay, let me pick the first equation, which is x plus y. Now we have x plus y is equals to x y z but we know that both y and z are all the same thing as x so i'm going to have x plus i will now replace this y with another x then i will have is equals to i'm going to have x then i'll replace both y and z with x hence i have x plus x is equals to x times x times x. So I have 2x is equals to x raised to power 3. Now I wish to solve this. Um, it has become a polynomial issue. So I will now pick these two over to this side. Then I'm going to have x cubed minus 2x is equal to 0. 
I will now factorize so that I have x into x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, since I factorize this, we have two different things here. We have, we can make a conclusion that x is equal to 0 or and x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, one of the answers is x equals to 0. We are done with this. For this, you have x squared is going to be equals to 2. So that x will be square root of 2. Okay, but this time around it's going to be plus minus. So we have three answers to x. x is equals to 0. And is equals to minus root of 2. Then it is equals to root of 2. These are the three answers that we've gotten, and all of them are solutions to this. So we can pick arbitrarily any uh, of the equations and test and see whether we are correct or not. Okay, so I'm going to pick the last one, which is z plus x is equal to x, y, z. Let's check. So we are checking now. Remember, we said x plus z is equal to x, y, z. Now, x is 0. Let's see. 0 plus, of course, x is equals to z is equals to y. So, plus 0 is equals to 0 times 0 times 0. So, it checks out. So, this is correct. So, we have this as the correct answer. So, let's go and check um, root of 2 or root of minus 2. Now, what we have here is going to be x will be root of 2 minus root of 2 plus another minus root of 2. Okay. Then it's equals to root of 2 minus times minus root of 2 times minus root of 2. Now, if we work this, this is going to be minus 2 root 2. Then it is equals to, once I multiply these two, I have... 2 then times minus root of 2 which is minus 2 root 2 is equals to minus 2 root 2 so it pans out 2 so this is very correct and the last one you can do it on your own it is also very correct so this is the solution if you like this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting math videos